okay so today we will be learning about two things the first thing and that's the minor thing really is a little bit about graph theory not very much this problem does not use graph theory that much we'll just use it as a tool the second thing that we will learn is the most important concept for this particular problem it's known as the extremal principle the extremal principle uh, we learn about these ideas in the math olympiad program and the isi and cmi entrance program at chinta each of the current students at chinta has one-to-one -one classes uh, apart from the group classes and the homework sometimes this problem is used as a homework problem in the one-to-one -one classes so maybe you have seen it there so how can we, what is the problem and how can we use that problem to learn these two ideas okay so here is the problem that there is a Diwali dance festival and there are many boys and girls in the floor there are many boys and girls in the floor in the dance floor and it is given that no boy dances with every girl so they are dancing by turn so maybe one girl can, can dance with multiple boys and one boy can dance with multiple girls and so on so no boy dances with every girl that is given and it is also given that every girl every girl dances with at least one boy okay so every girl dances with at least one boy that's also given okay so given this information what do we have to show we have to show that there is a pair g1 b1 and g2 b2 another pair says that g1 never dances with b2 and g2 never dances with b1 and of course g1 b1 dances with each other and g2 b2 dances with each other and so on so there are two pairs g1 b1 and g2 b2 such that g1 never danced with b2 and g2 never danced with b1 so let's see how we can model this problem using the notion of graph theory so tools of graph theory so if you have never seen graph theory before do not worry uh, this is very simple we basically in graph theory we basically use vertices which are sometimes called nodes and we also use edges so you connect two vertices with an edge if there is some relation between them that you want to describe so graph theory is sometimes used to model real life scenarios okay for example in this problem what we can do is we can connect those girls and boys which danced with each other so maybe I can write it like this that there is G on one side and b on one side g1 g2 so on b1 b2 on the other side and we connect by so we put a dot for each of them and we connect by an edge between a girl and a boy if they have danced with each other so this is sometimes this particular scenario is sometimes known as a bipartite graph let me write that bipartite graph we will not use the properties of bipartite graph very much directly 
if you have taken the graph theory module at chinta you have seen it before bipartite graphs have important properties what is the meaning of that it means that there are two separate sets of vertices such that no two are connected in between every class so of course no girl dances with any girl every girl girl is dancing with another boy that's the condition of the problem so there is no edge going between g1 and g2 for example so that's sort of a sketch of what a bipartite graph means okay so now let's see how we can use extremal principle we understand how we have modeled this using graph theory how we can use extremal principle to solve this problem so there is since no boy dances with every girl and of course they are dancing with a finite number of girls there are finite number of girls and boys in the floor there is there is at least one boy at least one boy who dances who dances with most number of girls okay with most girls or most number of girls most number of girls so if there are 20 girls there will be at least one person one boy who would have danced with the largest number of girls there could be more than one person like that but there is at least one person like that so see we have taken the extreme scenario the extreme case that's really how extremal principle applications work it's not a formula it's a heuristic it's a problem solving strategy you take the extreme case and then something nice happens the problem sort of magically opens up so there is one boy let's see how this works here there is one boy let's call him b1 who has danced with most number of girls now of course there will be at least one girl let's call that girl g2 with whom b1 has not danced why because no boy dances with every girl so there will be at least one girl with which b1 has not danced so let's connect these two dots using a broken edge okay so there is at least one girl with whom b1 has not danced we have named it g2 now since every girl dances with at least one boy so g2 must have danced with someone let's call that person b2 so g2 has danced with b2 all right so remember b1 could have danced with many b1 has danced with many other girls so i could have joined these in fact b1 has danced with most number of girls so there are many of these dots to which b1 is connected with okay now let's focus on b2 if there is at least one girl in this set to which b1 is connected with whom b b2 is not connected then we are done think about it suppose there is this girl right here with whom b2 is not connected with whom b2 is not connected then we will call this girl g1 then g1 does not dance with b2 and g2 does not dance with b1 and we are done so if we can find even one dot to which b1 is connected to which b2 is not connected then we are done what if b2 is connected with every girl what if b2 is connected with every girl with which b1 has danced then what goes wrong 
notice that in that case b2 would have danced with one more girl but b1 was the extreme case b1 danced with most number of girls how can b2 dance with one more girl than b1 that cannot happen because b2 already dances with g2 we know that so there must be at least one dot in this set to which b1 is connected to which b2 is not connected so that's how we use the extremal principle and we solve this problem it's beautiful it's argumentative combinatorics it's fantastic so keep on doing great mathematics i'll see you in the next one until then uh, you can subscribe and like and share these videos and stay tuned for more more interesting stuff bye